Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is uh, done a video on this before. This is my uh, Craftsman uh, C3 battery charger, and it's the uh, in-vehicle charger that runs off of uh, 12 volts. I have it plugged into my solar battery bank, and it generally works pretty good. But you can see there's only the two uh, LEDs there. I'll plug in this NICAD, and so it blinks, says it's evaluating, and then it goes to green, flashing, and that says it's charging, and then when it finishes, it says charged. Yeah, let me turn off the, was the solar heater kicked in, but that's the only uh, information it gives you. It doesn't say how much it charged or anything so I was thinking I could put something like one of these if I could figure out how to get this wired into that so I took the top off of one of my dead batteries here and wired in a Dean's plug and some connectors and this is my little test rig the idea is I, I put the Dean's plug there so I can connect a watt meter in line and then I can plug if I can get all that in frame here and then I can plug in this wire there and now I've got a something I can plug into the charger something I can see what's going on and then I can plug that into the battery so let's see I haven't, haven't actually tried this so let's see if there's uh, anything going on here so nothing yet I guess the charger doesn't fire up but one of the reasons for doing this is I wanted to find out you know what it is that the charger looks for so I've got the See if you can see that here. I've got the plus hooked up, and then the black is minus. Okay. And we get uh, 20.6 volts there. And so it's evaluating. And I am guessing that one thing I've done here is I've left the, the temperature sensor uh, wires disconnected. So what that's telling me is that's important. So the battery charger actually looks for that uh, to be there. And actually that's probably one of the things it looks for because right now I don't have anything hooked up there. So that's my first experiment. As you can see now it, it's not picking up that the battery it'll probably come down here at some point and do flashing red and green I think there's a timeout so I might try as a second pass I'll go back and maybe solder a resistor uh, something like 30 to 40 K ohms is what I measured on the battery packs so I'll see what that does because right now I'm not getting any power you know tenth or uh, 10 milliamps 0 0.01 amps and you can see the voltage that must be the multi because this one handles uh, I think it handles multiple voltages so it was 20.6 now it's 18.6 so that's my first pass at my uh, a little adapter to plug into this but now I can actually see what's going on with this uh, battery charger and you can see it's not uh, still not picked up the it knows there's a battery there but it's not sure what to do with it so that's an interesting result I'll get back to you uh, with a resistor and see what that does